Baltar cut food rations. We, we shut down three power plants for a week. We sabotaged the whole power grid. Baltar was a thug and a dictator. And now Adam is putting people in jail and Roslyn's working them to death on the refinery ship. Oh, sounds like a thug and a dictator to me. Oh, God, Kelly, just go to sleep. What do you want me to say? You don't want to admit it, but the truth is, Baltar's on to something. There's a ruling class with the perks and the power. And there's an underclass with the blood work and the suffering. <laughs> Kept the kids out of there. That's good news. Now you traded a couple 12-year-olds for 17-year-olds. Congratulations. <sighs> Doing the best I can. I know, Galen. But did you notice that the pool of workers were all from Crow Colony? Don't start with the Baltar crap again. Not a single person from Colonial One was even in that pool. I guess they're all from Capita. Yeah, well, the last thing we need is a bunch of bureaucrats over there trying to figure out how to run a fuel refinery. We need people with specific skill sets. Half of my job is pushing around a broom and a mop or carrying a hose and cleaning gear. What, what type of skill set does that take? Look, Kelly, if I push too hard right now, they're going to pull me off. Then you're going to have Ty over there on the Hittite con cracking the whip. You want that? No. I don't want that. I just don't want you to become some sort of strike breaker. Yeah, well, the union is gone. We're back here now. We're in uniform. It's different. Yeah, there are places like this all over the fleet. Somebody has to stand up for them. But somebody used to be you.